What's up, YouTube? We are back with Valkyrie Ilslum. I think I butchered that name. But either way, this game basically follows this Valkyrie lady or girl. I have no clue how old she is. She looks 20s, maybe, maybe 18. I'm going to say 18 for legal reasons. Uh, you know, I ain't going to jail. But either way, this is after the events of Ragnarok. Odin has uh, charged her basically to like go out in the world and find evil and, you know, kill it. So basically, we're going out and assaulting a bunch of uh, random enemies that we don't know. And destroying them for no reason other than some random Caucasian guy tells us to. He also looks very fancy. It's honestly really dark if you think about it from the enemy's point of view. The main character's first name is Maria. And her main weapon as you see on her back right now is called Alpha Door. Now, I may have butchered that name, but either way, that's what we're going to call it for right now anyway. So anyway, that's the gist of the demo. It basically like weighs a whole lot on Norse mythology. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the door showed up and start clapping cheeks with the main character here, but either way, let's get into the combat. An undead. So this is what happens when a soul stagnates. Okay, so yeah, I forgot. The enemies in this game are called undead. So apparently she just uh, attacking souls of the, the dead, apparently. You go, Karen. So by herself, Maria's combat abilities are pretty simple. She can use this ability called Soul Chain that you just saw there. Blue Chain pulls her close to the enemies, basically. She can use different types of magic, like uh, lightning, fire, she can even heal herself. She also has what most main characters have, which is a heavy attack and a light attack. Now you can use these attacks to make various combos and uh, cool finishers. Oh my gosh, she's Naruto running in heels! Like seriously, how does she keep that form and all that armor? I mean, at least she's wearing armor, Jesus Christ. Because honestly, every other fantasy game I've seen, the, the, the girls basically just wearing the bikini, to be honest. So I'm impressed they made this much armor. Alright, so as you just saw, that lightning attack basically stuns enemies. They keep some steel for a good couple of seconds, not for too long, but it does enough damage and keeps them still long enough for me to like get in some extra hits. Alright, what's up here? Okay, got some enemies. Alright, that ability comes in handy. I know they got stole that from Devil May Cry. There's no way they didn't steal this from Devil May Cry and maybe uh, near Automata. That's right, Maria. Talk your shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Why did they have to put me in this room for? Holy shit. Okay. Maybe that worked. It didn't work? Can I get my ass kicked here? These guys are so strong. I mean, they're not that strong, but working alone is kind of like pretty hard in a crowded room like this. It's kind of hard to block. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'd like to remind everybody this lady can fight in heels and full armor all these guys. That's honestly amazing. Now, I know Valkyries are considered gods themselves or goddesses since they're all supposed to be women, but I call bullshit on the heels just like I did Batgirl um, a couple videos ago. I cannot stand when they do this to characters. The heels, man. I mean, at, at the very least, I, I don't I don't like her look. I don't like her look. Uh, at the very least, uh, if you remember the character from Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Eivor, the female version, that looks more like a, you know, Norse goddess type Valkyrie person. Uh, I think Eivor was a, she, she, she was a warrior, so yeah, kind of like that. Holy shit. Hey, God, ask me out to dinner first, perv. Oh my God. Take that shit. Take it! Oh, what? Oh, shit. More evil looking men than dog people. Bro, did I go into the wrong hood or something? Why the hell we got all these enemies at the beginning of the game? Now, I know they're trying to test me, but shit. I don't need that much testing. Where the boss at? Where is the boss? I've been here for like a while now. And for God's sakes, why does my male mind immediately go to that meme with the white girl and all those black guys surrounding her? Bro, my mind's dirty. Send help. I need, I need a bonk. Odin, you're telling me this after I've been doing this for like 25 minutes. Like, you could come down to help, send the girl some, you know, support, at least some emotional support. Holy shit. You can send a one. You just made me. I just got here. This character was just born. She's like, literally, probably like one years old. But uh, for this video, we're just gonna say she's 18. Remember. 
Damn. My girl didn't even have a snack yet. What do Valkyries like to eat? Souls? By the way, her powers do a lot with souls. Um, basically, she can summon souls or even collect souls from what I've seen in the game. Odin! How many more guys you got for me? Jesus Christ. All right, dodge. Dodge. You know, screw this, screw this. I'm summoning. All right, so these guys she can summon. Apparently, in the beta or the, the, the demo, they give you at least two spirits already that you can summon. One that shoots arrows and one that's a straight-up swordsman, it seems like. They're really good help in the, the game so far. I mean... They, it, it's kind of like a Final Fantasy type gameplay if you ever play Final Fantasy, especially 7. Now these souls are Maria's most useful ability. As you can see, they basically can clear, help you clear out a whole area in a, a matter of minutes. They can also help you get through different terrains like brick and boulders or crossing bridges. But just like any other NPC in the game, they can become useless. Because sometimes they'll just disappear on you for no reason. Or just when you're done with the fight. I mean, y'all don't want to talk or anything? Buy a girl some dinner? Not only did it not take me out to dinner, but it didn't even walk me home. Bruh, sure is dead. Time to become a lesbian. Oh, fuck. This a creeper? We got lightning? What the hell is this? The f okay, chill. It's a damn storm in the castle? What is this? Oh, oh, God. It's the thing from that old alien movie. I, I didn't even see the movie, so I have no clue how to reference that. But either way, what the hell is this? It's all extra. By Odin's command, you shall be That's right, white girl power. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Come on. All right, so I got a lot of abilities right now. God, he, he just charged at me. What the fuck? I'm like an ant size compared to him. Like, what the fuck did he charge at me for? Why not just swing your big ass sword and just kill me in one hit? It shouldn't be that hard, unless you just can't aim. I'm just gonna assume all, with all those eyes, you just can't aim. Let's just assume flies can't aim swords. Either way, I'm gonna kick his ass. Come here. I'm supposing I should aim at the, the glowy part of his chest. You know, it, it, it didn't make that more obvious. Look, he's stunned. So apparently, if you hit an enemy or a boss in the middle of an attack, you can stun him and he'll get into this state, or you can take multiple hits in. I guess it's like a parry in a way. I don't like it. I want Elder Ring parry. Elder Ring Parry was the shit. Hit him! Hit his ass! Hit him! Bite him! Bite him in the wing! You know what? She could just like cut his wings off. That would be like more beneficial to the fight rather than just like slash his belly. But but either way, you know, you know, you know, white, white girl power, you know, woman empowerment. Let's let's do this. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Come on. Go at him. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. How about we heal? Oh shit, I dodge. Dodge. Nice. Get him. Gotta get in there. Drill them licks, girl! Do them licks. All right, but you can run out of uh, magic spells to use my electricity spells, my fire spells. You can basically run out of those. On the left of me are these little orange pellet things, the way they want to call orange vials that basically help me with those. It helps restore those uh my magic basically. That's what it does. Again, some Final Fantasy bullshit. Hit him. Hit his ass. Okay, so you, you just decide to land on me? How rude. Like, use your sword. How do you have a sword in the first place? Why does the fly have a sword? I just thought about that. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter why the fly has a sword. I'm not even going to question it. We're just going to kill him and move on. Come on. Hit him, woman. Hit him. Show your equality. Show your privilege. Do it. Beat his ass. Do it. All right, he's about dead. I've been swinging at him for like a, a good couple minutes now. He's, he hasn't failed yet. Yeah, I did it. Now that boss fight you just saw was the second boss fight in the game after the tutorial boss. So that was basically the first real boss fight. This boss fight is going to be the tutorial boss. Very different. Honestly, a lot cooler than the second boss. Because you can use your uh, your spirits in this fight. Oh, shit. Bro, why did you give me DMX vibes? Oh, no. He has black Air Force energy. All right, no problem. All I gotta do is summon the power of every beautiful woman above a six. White knights, assemble! There you go. That's what you do. Nice, nice. I right, even shot with an arrow. Cool, cool. You know, don't worry, guys. By the end of this boss fight, you're still gonna all gonna be virgins. That's just how the world works. Tragic. It's tragic. 
All right, time to see how the White Knights work in the boss fight, or, excuse me, the souls. Hint, hint. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you just step on them? Jesus Christ. What men won't do for affection? All right, but we still his ass, though. This is good. Good, good, good. Hit him. Hit him, boys. Hit him. Let the power of holiness give you strength. You know, I just had a random thought. Valkyries take on the souls of the dead. Like, when warriors fall in battle, Valkyries are supposed to take them up to uh, Valhalla or whatever. So, these are basically the souls that have, like, fell from Earth and are now fighting for her. And they... they I, I can imagine what they feel like. Oh my oh my god, like I'm fighting a random huge ass giant motherfucker. Like what the hell is this? Why the hell would you bring me into this shit? That's what I'll be thinking. Like what the hell? I mean she's cute, but you ain't that cute. You ain't fucking Bayonetta, Chun Li, Yorolichi. And hell the list can go on for days, to be honest. Oh he's down again. Great, great. His ass. His ass. We almost got him, boys. Doing good work. You still not gonna get laid, but you're doing good work. Ah, uh, life. Young life. Tragic. Alright, dodge. Oh, shit. I still got hit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he has a lot of aerial attacks. I wonder why he chose this as the two-year-old boss. I mean, honestly, he's a lot cooler than this first boss, but I I, 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 don't, I don't know why, because what is this guy What's supposed to be? An ogre? I think it has a question mark on the top of it, so he's not even supposed to have any kind of identity. He's supposed to be this big guy that we're supposed to fight. Really great, uh... Game developers, really, really great, really creative here. All right, all my guys are dead, just great. Just leave me at the table to pay for my own food, great. Dodge. Dodge, oh God. God, this equality is not working out for me, shit. Got some boys again. Hit him. Hit him. Do we get him? Oh, he's falling, he's falling, we got him. This is it, we're done. We're done. Keep it up, boys. Maybe one day you'll get laid. Yes! Oh, hell yeah! This game got me out here feeling like the blonde Valkyrie Batman. Except I'm not emo, and my age is very questionable.